Hearts of Truth. My name is Peter S. Lopez, a Capita de Aslan. I'm calling this video Shasta Hotel Update. I am in Sacramento, California. This is a 80 unit low income hotel. And to me, it's not really affordable. I moved in here in March of 2012. At first, it was pretty, pretty good. Uh, as time went on, I started getting cockroaches, and now I got bed bugs, and sometimes you got mice coming in here, in here to visit. So it's. Uh, John Stitter is, is, a, is a company that owns it, and the way it operates here, it's, it's kind of like a slumlord. And to make matters worse, they're going to up up the rent to 501 in January. Now it's 476. According to HUD, what is affordable is a third of your income. Housing and Urban Development HUD. And so, I make less than a grant on, on SSI, so it's not really affordable for me. It's what I can do right now. At this point, I have not had any heating in, uh, in here all winter. That since early of this year, I didn't have any air conditioning during the hottest summer in history. So now that's a winter. I'm in the no November now, 2016. I don't have any heating. It gets cold here. Sometimes I gotta sleep you know, with, with my with my clothes on just to keep warm. So the management here is negligent. And we have a Shasta resident council that's pretty ineffective. So I thought that it would be better to do this video and share it from here. So now, for example, on my birthday, November 15th, the manager knocks on the door and then she says how someone had pissed in the, in the garbage can in the kitchen, which is across the hall. I know that's gross, but that's what she said. And she said that it pointed to you it to me and uh, me and she reminds me of like a black racist and then her name's Tammy and I've had other complaints about her and many people here see we're low income many have a low educational level and for them you know they're at they could be uh, at the top of their existence in the food chain. To me, this is one of the worst places I've ever lived in in my life. And I'm born and raised in Sacramento. So, what I'm getting into more and more now is the idea of rent control. We usually have rent control here in Sacramento. And the authoritarian nature of the manager here is is terrible to me. For example, uh, during the, the summer I had to leave my door crack open a bit with the door stop to get some air in here. I had that on, open the other day and she came by and said I had to close it because she said that it's against the law. And poked up my sense head and I said against the law? And she goes, well the rules. 
So she has like a petty bourgeois mentality where you know, want to be middle class and as if living here is a privilege. It's a privilege to live among the cockroaches and the bed bugs and the mice. So she's off the wall. And to me, housing is a human right. As the shelter is a human right. And I had a long and winding road getting here. I was working a few years back for Salvation Army. And I became a, a counselor and case manager. And I did pretty well. Then uh, I got laid out because the county cut backs. After surviving four supervisors, I'm the one that got laid off. So I went from there, I went into Volunteers of America, which is a homeless shelter. And then from there, I went to, uh, I lived with a, a Christian sister. So long story short, I ended up here at the Shasta. And now I'm looking for another place where I can get some, some peace and quiet and sanity. As president of the resident council, all I want is to, is to have a safe, sane, and sober living environment. We've had dope dealers in here, you know, dope fiends. Management doesn't seem to monitor that. And she doesn't monitor it, period. And we had another manager before named Kenya. She would come up by, like on Saturdays, and check things out. And this manager here is negligent. Like I said, I haven't had my air conditioner on here for about, about all year. And it's the air conditioner and heating is combined, so. I haven't had any heating now. And they came and checked it out a long time ago. And then BJ Dunn was going to come by and do like an inspection. And I, I, I go, good old type of telling about my, my air conditioner being broken. And she's, and she's walking away. She goes, well, I'm going to bother to call him then. And she hasn't. So. Well, that's a violation of, of uh, Americans with Disabilities Act or what. And just her knowing about what my situation here is, not really giving a damn about it. But her accusing me of pissing in, in the garbage can across the hall, so low life. You know, I think of her like, a, she's like a black racist. She's been off my back now the last week or so, but who knows what's coming up next. So, I'm an advocate for the homeless, I'm an advocate for poor people, and I'm an advocate for fair housing. So, sometimes that can put me like in the crosshairs of somebody. So I wanted just to share this, you know, in case uh, matters get worse and I'm not able to. So. We've had some help, like from supposedly the SRO. And at first, we were having our, our council meetings, and then giving the copies of the minutes to uh, the management here, with no improvement done. And so, that's like the SRO want, want, wants to co opt this, you know, wants to control what comes out of the, the council of the resident council and the resident council is so damn passive where they just, you know, they trip on anybody of, of any kind of, of authority. So, I want just to get this out and let it, let it fly as it will. Power to the truth. Fight for your human rights, your humane rights.